Hello everyone, this is Ciprian from Apticals and in this video I'm going to answer some of the questions we received about Progressive Web Apps. So let's jump in. First of all, Progressive Web Apps or PWA are a new way to deliver amazing user experiences on the web. Google describes Progressive Web Apps as being user experiences that have the reach of the web and are reliable, fast and engaging. This new level of quality allows progressive web apps to earn a place on the user's home screen. But what exactly does that mean? Now this is the moment when we'll get a bit more technical. A progressive web app comes equipped with the following capabilities. Offline mode or instant loading via service worker, which is a client-side proxy written in JavaScript, allowing you full control of the cache and how to respond to resource requests. By pre-caching key resources, you can eliminate the dependence on the network, ensuring an instant and reliable experiences experience for your users. Web app install banners or add home screen. They let users quickly and seamlessly add your progressive web app to their home screens without leaving the browser. Push notifications. Being able to re-engage with our users on the web has always been a challenge. With the introduction of the Web Push API, we now have the capability to send push notifications to our users, even when the browser is closed. This is possible because service workers can be restarted even when no tab is open, allowing push events to deliver notifications to the users. Secure end-to-end -end HTTPS encryption ensures a secure browsing session for mobile users. And finally, the app architecture is simply static HTML shells plus APA data. The shells are pre-rendered on server side during build time with critical CSS in line. This leads to a quick first paint without waiting on CSS or JS to load. Once the async JS is loaded, API calls for data are made which fill in the content of the shells. On the client side, progressive web apps are in essence single page applications based on React.js, Angular, Ionic, or Vue.js, as your personal preference goes. Everything put together manifests into a native like experience for mobile users on the web. How does that differ from responsive web design, you ask? Well, let's start from the definition. Responsive web design is an approach to web design aimed at allowing desktop web pages to be viewed in response to the size of the screen or web browser one is being viewing with. In other words, the same code and information is being rearranged to fit the smaller screen. A technique that's actually detrimental to performance, causing a poor user experience. And just last year, Forrester identified several trends that show how the web is evolving. Responsive web design has reached saturation. 87% of digital experience makers embrace it. New web standards and innovation have unlocked traditionally native features for use on the browser, such as cameras, touch ID, and Bluetooth. A shift in customer expectations to prefer app-like experiences on the web. So, responsive web caters for the screen size, whereas progressive web brings the app experience on the web. So why should you build a progressive web app? Building a high-quality progressive web app has incredible benefits. It's worthy of being on the home screen. Works reliably no matter the network conditions. Increased engagement. For example, web push notifications help extra electronics increase engagement by 4x. And those users spend twice as much time on the site. Improved conversions. The ability to deliver an amazing user experience helped AliExpress improve conversions for new users across all browsers by 104%. And on iOS by 82%. In summary, you can think of progressive web apps as a way to provide 
users an app-like experience on the web. The benefits range from increased engagement to improved conversions, which basically translates into more revenue for your business. And if that's what you're interested in, building a progressive web app is no longer nice to have. It's a must. Give it a try on wordpressmobilepack.com and let us know how it goes.